Well, it's a kind of a fun story. My sister-in-law and I, Carrie Stebner, have hunted together for 30 or 40 years. I had shot an antelope one year and she and I were walking out to it and I did get kind of a nice one shot. And she said, you ought to do a, a one shot. You know, I said, yeah, that'd be great if we had a woman's hunt, that'd be kind of fun. And then Lynn Boomgarten, joke, but it's true, she's a real executive too, she gets stuff done. We talked to her just casually about the idea, and boy, she was all over it. Came up with the idea of approaching the Women's Foundation, and by golly, they were interested, and it just blossomed. But it's pretty darn gratifying to see it year after year. It was really an exciting synergy that we took and ran with. This is Wyoming. It's a very Wyoming way for women to connect and put food on their table. We also knew that there would be opportunities to elevate the image of the Wyoming Women's Foundation. Our mission is economic self-sufficiency for women and opportunities for girls. And that is economic self-sufficiency, putting food on the table. That's it, that's hunting. The Wyoming Women's Antelope Hunt is so unique. There's nothing like it in the country. The small thing that we started 10 years ago, not only has spread throughout the entire state, but then the entire country, I mean, that's a big deal. And I think it's great because they don't just show up and hunt and leave. That's not at all what this is about. When the women first arrive for the hunt, you know, a lot of them are starting off, they've never handled a rifle before, and they go to the rifle range and then do the skills course and experience what it might be like to be on an actual hunt. And so when they actually get out in the field and hunt, they, they have a feel for what they might expect. The hunting aspect of it is great, but that's only the beginning. You come back to the meat pole, you can learn how to process your animal, you can learn about taxidermy. We have cooking classes. You know, they're shooting shotguns, they're doing archery, they're fly fishing. It's really the best all around experience because you don't just learn about the pulling of the trigger. It's so much more than that. And so I tell people all the time, hunting is not a sport or a pastime, it's a lifestyle. And so getting to teach the ladies about what that means and kind of how that just continues on after the hunt and really does become a part of kind of who you are as a person, that's my favorite thing. First year we had it, we had some challenges and we thought if we can survive these challenges, we're okay because we lost the electricity, we had a horrible blizzard, our tent fell down, and the guys that were the guides were going, you know, if this were men, they'd probably just go to the bar instead of wanting to crawl around in the snow. But the women wanted to go, and we continued on. Got the tent back up and, you know, moved on. And it continues to be exciting every year. I didn't think that I would leave the hunt saying that it was a life-changing experience. I expected that it would be fun and that it would be something I'd never done before and that hopefully I'd harvest an antelope and have a great hunt story to tell. But I didn't think that it would be as powerful as it was. I didn't think that I would come out a different person when it was all said and done, but I truly did. It is a special place. Ucross and this whole Ucross Valley between Buffalo, Sheridan, it's a very special, unique area of Wyoming, a good kept secret, I'd like to say. The abundance of visual wildlife year round, and then not to mention the fabulous people that we share a fence line with. It wouldn't happen without the ranches and the landowners' generosity and the willingness of these guides to participate year to year. I guess from a guide's point, uh, we have a good time every night down there, but I want everybody to have an enjoyable experience. But the first time hunters that never hunted, I think that's what I enjoy most is encouraging them and showing them it's more than just the hunt, it's the friendship and the stuff you develop through the hunt, I guess. So as a guide, I'm actually there to be a coach and a mentor, not a guide, where you know a guide is there to do everything. But the emphasis more on coaching and mentoring and I'm teaching the whole experience. But they don't have to harvest. The fact that they're enjoying it and having a good time is what we're looking for. That's the reward as a guide is the person's had a life-changing experience whether they harvest or not. Just, you never know what little words you might say or a little snippet is gonna change somebody's life and help them. It just fills my heart. I mean, it, it's such a wonderful feeling to have women building each other up. And I think that's what the antelope hunt does. 
It's not just memories these women are making, they're actually learning how to better their lives and they're learning how to learn these life skills that they can take home and then actually better their lives and their families' lives. We want to stay connected to these women. We want to continue to foster these relationships after they've left the ranch. And so they came up with this idea that if you are an alum of the hunt, you are now a sister of the sage. Because sometimes you need a sage sister. And so it works for mentoring in life and in the field. But I think there's a responsibility that we feel to each other to help each other and continue our journeys. This is the perfect way for me to start my hunting journey. I'm so excited, I'm beyond excited. I'm gonna be able to feel what the texture of their fur is, feel their horns, and just really get that close-up interaction and see all the little details that you can't see from afar. I think there's a magic to this hunt because not only does it help people learn to hunt and help people mentor, but it also supports the Women's Foundation. And that mission is something that most women can relate to. We have seen sponsors who have become touched by what this hunt has provided to women and to the cause of the Women's Foundation, that they have the opportunity to really make a difference. The first year I hunted, that was the blizzard year. And you know, Susan challenged me the next year and said, hey, you know, you're on my team. I think you need to sponsor a team. So I did the next year and have every year since. And so it's just a perfect, perfect opportunity for us. Getting involved with a hunt, you know is gonna change lives. For me, making it part of my estate plan means that it has the opportunity to continue changing lives well after I'm gone. Whatever contribution you're making, whether it's a monetary contribution, working as a volunteer, you can do it knowing that you're making an impact. Well, it's a great fundraiser for the Women's Foundation, and I think it's important for them to continue the traditions we have in our state. If you have reservations or you don't know, just spend a weekend out there and you can watch the emotions and the camaraderie change. That first day, everybody's real quiet, and by the time that last day's there, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's just so fun to watch. Come on out, see the event, see the lives that are touched with this and how they're changed. And watch this weekend play out is very empowering. People want to be a part of it. There's just a nice, healthy gathering of women who want them all to be successful not only that weekend, but throughout their lifetime. I would like people 50 years from now to be living in a world where it was not unusual for women to hunt, and they could look back at a time when women didn't hunt, and they'd be thankful that somebody took a step, you know, 50 years earlier to encourage more women to hunt. I think we've laid a fabulous foundation in the last 10 years. I'm excited to see what happens down the road and I'm confident that it will continue to be the special event for Wyoming and for the Women's Foundation that it is.